All right, we are joined now in studio. Anthony Napoli talking to us a little bit about Crispin Cider. Brandy, we are always welcoming to uh, to Cider guests. Especially, I mean, you'll find that we uh, enjoy it more than I think everybody else does. More than we should, maybe. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to be talking about sure. is the, the event this weekend uh, at Barton Orchards. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Fest. Really excited. We've been talking about this for, for months. Yeah, because you and I, every time Cider Week rolls around, we're always talking about the new ones mm-hmm. and the cool ones and the ones that we can get locally and nationwide available. And Crispin is made from California, but you guys got a great product here. And this is going to be at the Cider Fest on Saturday? Brand new. It'll be at the Cider Fest on Saturday. We'll be out there sampling our uh, apple and our pear varieties. Okay. Uh, brand new to the marketplace, and we can't wait for everybody to go out there and taste it. Oh, so we're going to be able to try it on Saturday really before anybody else. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Now mm-hmm. a lot of the uh, a lot of ciders that people try, you know, uh, there's there's a wide range of them, and I think some people will try some of the ciders that they see at bars and things like that, and assume that all ciders are very sweet, kind of cloying, mm-hmm. very sugary. What kind of cider is it? A little bit more uh, on the dry side, a little sweeter, yeah, crisp. We like to say it, it's crisp, clean, and complex. Okay. It, it's not that sugary, sticky kind of cider. It's uh, it's got a real clean taste to it. Good. Now you've got a couple of different ones. Which ones are you going to be able to try at the uh, Cider Fest on Saturday? Uh, you'll be able to try the pear, the 100% uh, pear juice, and the apple. Pear? That's It's interesting. I, I've only had a pear cider once, and I think I might actually like it more than the apple. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting, it's got like a little bit... Kind of more of a mellow flavor. I think it can kind of be a little bit drier and crisper than than the apple. And it's just uh, it's nice to show people, especially people who are kind of new to the cider world, that you know it's not just one thing. It's yeah. you know it's not mm-hmm. like the the cider that you grew up drinking, uh, buying at the the little farm stand in Ulster County right. or at the supermarket or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's it's really uh, a very wide thing, and it's got so much history. America, you know, the the founding fathers all were cider guys. They they were, they absolutely were. It's, yeah, you see those old uh, the the what are those the pewter uh, cup mugs, Brandy? Oh, remember right. those things? The like, chalice, almost. Yeah, and they they would be that was not beer, that was cider. Everybody, that was cider. Uh, so that one is is really interesting to me. And I think another thing that's interesting is uh, is the fact that if you have a gluten problem, well. 100% gluten-free, but all natural ingredients, fresh, uh, fresh pressed apple and pear juice. Um, it, it, it's really the highest premium quality cider that uh, that you can get out there on the market. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, it's all uh, uh, fresh pressed uh, American apples, right? Everything's... Correct. They're all the all the apples and pears are sourced from Oregon and uh, Washington State. They're known for yeah. having pretty good products up there, <laughs> especially they're, they're, when it comes to apples. They're right? known for having good. They're known for having good apples up there. So, uh, is it? Uh, so it's going to be available at the uh, Cider Fest on Saturday. It should mention that that's from two to six at Barton Orchards. Uh, Unless you, wanna, you have the VIP, right? Get that VIP. You can get in a little bit early, one o'clock. You can also get some exclusive stuff uh, if you're a, m- a member of the VIP club there and uh, can people find Crispin outside of the Cider Fest? Or? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we're just getting it out into the market now. You'll be able to find it in bars, restaurants. Um, beer that, World Halftime. Beer World Halftime. Uh, everywhere that uh, regular beer and cider are sold. Excellent. So make sure you check it out. Uh, you can't really miss it. The uh, Especially the pear one stands out pretty well. The packaging. Nice bright green. So uh, make sure you get your tickets to the Hudson Valley Cider Fest going on on Saturday. Uh, get your tickets now while you can. They're going to go up and price at the uh, the day of the event so make sure you get those in advance and uh, and enjoy yourself so thank you so much for coming in we appreciate it thanks for having me appreciate it